Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Lit Cherry vlog. This week was pretty interesting. A little mix of stores as usual. Nothing too great, nothing too bad. Just your casual week of sourcing finds to flip online for profit. Thank you again for coming back. If this is your first time seeing this, thank you for clicking, and I hope you enjoy the show. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Let's get this week started with a visit to Ross. I'm over here at the women's outerwear section and I find this Nike jacket. MSRP is 150, oversized water repellent, almost like a parka. Feeling the material, it's really high quality. It's almost like a spandex slash polyester mix, very lightweight. It has a hood and it has straps in the middle. And looking it up, they're selling for around $99, especially in the size medium. And the sell through rate is pretty good as well. A lot more solds than listed, which is what I'm always looking for. So I decided to pick it up, and uh, I think we got a good chance of making a sale. Over in the same section, I came across this Nike bomber jacket for women. Size medium, MSRP at 140 Really high quality jacket as well, but the sell through rate was really low. And honestly, it was only selling for around $80 kind of a weird color I'm not sure if it's picking it up on the camera but it's almost like a satin finish and then it has this weird almost crumpled spine on the back good for the personal but I passed new morning now let's head on over to our Nike factory looks like they changed the sale now it's 30% off the back wall which is great for us and I found one pair pair of these Nike Airmore up tempos for $34.97 with 30 off way too cheap to pass up I think I should get 80 to 90 for these easily and then while I was in line I found this bag pack I think it's a one-off $24.97 with 30% off and way too cheap to pass up as well I sold these actually the same day for 69 on Amazon so even though the rank was actually over a million they sold the same day for just about asking price so that's gonna be a very easy pickup for us time to head to our Ross which is in the same mall I thought I was gonna have a great pickup here on these Nike Vaporjet gloves in the looks like university red colorway these look really good and then I realized that they came apart someone was probably trying them out in store and broke the little wrist thing that held it together here these are brand new and I probably could have sold them still but you know what, I really hate dealing with returns and it's just one of those things where I just want to avoid the headache. Let's head on over to another Ross. Now this might be the find of the week. MSRP you can see here is 150 men's size large. We flip over the label and it is the Jordan We The Best Nike DJ Khaled collab. Really nice jacket. We got a little bit of a lace lock drawstring here. I'm going to turn it around and this is actually a very heavy jacket. We got keep going on the hoodie and keep going on the back graphic there in a nice little Miami colorway. Now this particular size is going for around 120 on StockX currently, but I think we can ask for a little bit more since we're nearing into the winter months and Q4, but nonetheless a very, very nice find. And before I forget, the Ross price was $29.99, so that leaves us plenty of room for profit. Now we're going to transition over to our Nike factory store where I was able to find these Nike puffer jackets and they were coming at a great price. They wanted $84.97 with 30% off which made each jacket right around $65 with taxes included. Now right now they sell for around $120 to $150 but that is of course during the summer season which means this jacket should go up as we near the colder months sales rank is right at around 400,000 but if we zoom out of the Keepa chart we can actually tell that these jackets go for around 180 to 200 during the winter months. Now here's a bit of a closer look on the jackets. I did end up picking 10 of these up sizes medium through XL and these were a really high quality jacket super soft on the inside it kept me very warm the whole time I was wearing it I really like the zipper line as well. It went all the way up to around the neckline, keeping you nice and snug. So yeah, the colorway is very neutral. Kind of gives me cool gray vibes, pretty much matches with anything. So I think this is going to be a very hot seller, especially those December, January months. 
Now let's head back over to Ross. Over here at the athletic accessories section and found these super bad 6.0 football gloves. MSRP is $68.50, kind of odd pricing there, but these aren't actually your regular super bad gloves. They are NCAA Florida State version, which makes these pretty rare, not a lot of listed on eBay, and sold comps are looking right at around 80 to 120 depending on size. This is a double XL, so I think we got a good find there. And moving right along, I was also able to find these Nike Jordan 1 elevates in the women's section. I think this is the metallic silver colorway. These are a huge size though, size 11. You can see that it has that cork insole with a nice little elevated midsole. Really actually a pretty good shoe. They wanted $60 for it. And this was kind of an odd one because the sell through rate was actually very good on this on certain sizes only. So if you see them on a smaller size, that's definitely a good pickup. Now making our way to the men's athletic section, check this out. 145 retail on these Nike Tech Pack joggers. Really nice colorway, almost like a leaf print, but uh, yeah, size medium, and they only wanted $24.99 for these, so I thought this was a great pickup. Selling for around $60 to $70 to $80, of course, all depending on size, but size medium is pretty good, so I went ahead and picked it up. Very cool looking jogger. Ross seems to be hitting today, so let's go to another one. I headed straight over to the athletic section to look for more gloves, and what do you know, I found another pair of super bad gloves, this time in the Horn Frogs, I believe that's TCU, same MSRP at $68.50, but uh, yeah, another collegiate version of these super bad gloves, these are actually pretty rare. I think I should be able to get around 80 on the low end for these, on the high end maybe 120 if I take my time, but nonetheless two very nice finds. Over by the women's section and this particular pair caught my eye, these Adazero Afterburners, these are actually a baseball turf shoe and these are actually men's, so kind of in the wrong section, but I decided to look them up and surprisingly they go for a big hunk of change once sold recently for 200 but realistically I think I could probably get around 100 to 120 for these uh, baseball season is not quite here but Q4 is which gives us lots of room to profit at the Ross price of 1999 now let's head on over to Burlington so I've been hearing that there has been a bunch of tech pack appearing at Burlington's so what do you know I find two jackets here this one is a size medium Retail price at 130 Cool little colorway as well. Got a little two-tone action going on in a purple and blue. But Burlington's was asking $39.99 for these guys. Uh, really good for the personal, but right now online these are selling for around 80 to 100 bucks. And you know they are pretty fast movers, but at $39.99 it starts getting expensive very fast. Now I like the yellow one. It does remind me of Kill Bill. But once again, there's actually a ton of jackets just popping up everywhere, Ross, Marshalls, Burlington's. So it makes me hesitant on picking all these up. No doubt, perfect for the collection, but a bit too pricey for the online flip, at least for me. Let me know what you guys think. Now here is an example of some of the jackets that have been popping up. This MSRP was ridiculous at $300 for this Nike Storm Fit jacket. And I'm feeling around, I'm trying to figure out where the $300 is coming from because the buttons are plastic, the material is lightweight, there's no real heaviness to this jacket. Not only that, but Burlington's was taxing at $129.99. I didn't even bother to look this jacket up. It just surprised me uh, how high the retail was with no particular overbranding or tech. So yeah, super pass. Making our way over to the men's footwear section, only one pair caught my eye. These Nike ACG Gore-Tex. I believe they're called Gaia Dome um, boots, I guess. So yeah, these were really heavy and Burlington's was taxing at $99.99, but they actually sell for around $150 to $200. The price is going to be a little too expensive for me, and the sell-through rate was very, very slow, but it is right around the corner from boot season, so if you could find these cheaper, it's definitely a pickup. 
we're gonna walk over to our Ross Dress for Less. Oh man, I thought I hit the jackpot with these Nike Vapor Edge 360 football cleats. Ross price at $39.99. Now these cleats regularly go for $150 to $200, but unfortunately for me, this was a size 7. So what you're gonna wanna look out for is regular men's sizing, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12, and above, and you can reach that $150 to $200 range. But unfortunately, these are just a pass for me at this small little size. Making my way over to the men's pants section, I was surprised to see these staple Heather Gray sweatpants available. They had multiple, but unfortunately, they are all size extra small and small. Looks like retail was $74 on these. Not too bad if you were looking for something casual. I think they were asking $16.99. And they had a few of them here, I think four pairs. But yeah, if you're looking for staple joggers, uh, make sure to check out the pants section over at Ross. And that just about wraps it up for this week's video. Funny thing, this morning we went for these things called Analog Pockets. Analog is a company that makes retro gaming consoles, but they had a limited edition release a bunch of transparent colors in their pocket consoles so I went for the color blue and I got it right there um, so right now they're selling for around 400 420 somewhere around that price range and it would be a pretty good profit but unfortunately the retail price was 250 with California taxes came out to be like 290 altogether but for 400 I still can make just a few dollars so that was cool so I think the find of the week, at least for me, is going to be that Jordan DJ Khaled hoodie. Still around 120 on StockX right now. I think it's a pretty rare find. I didn't see anyone else online with that listing. Yeah, nothing too crazy this week. It wasn't able to bulk buy any shoes, I don't think. Uh, but I did bulk buy those puffer jackets and one already sold for 150. So that's a very good sign. Other than that... Thank you again for joining me, and I hope to see you again here next week. Peace out.